Hey, hello. Good morning. You're with Wolf Gorlick. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security today live from, uh, from the airport. So we're looking at this morning honeypots and specifically ways to detect and avoid honeypots. Now, one of the things that is fun, one of the things that's exciting, one of the things that's terrifying, one of the things that keeps us up at night in a bad way and keeps us up at night in a good way too, uh, about security and about computer hacking is the fact that it's a consistent game of cat and mouse, right? The red team comes up with a new technique and the blue team comes up with a counter. Uh, the blue team comes up with a new way to stop you and the red team works around it, right? That's the exciting thing about it. So tip for you, check a look at what's going on in the deception space, the honey spot space, the honey token space, all that type of concept where the blue team has been getting progressively better at putting evidence in there and trapping the bad guys into using that evidence in a way that uh, is detected, is logged, is monitored, and you know, the mouse shell comes down and catches them. Uh, this concept of honey pots, honey tokens, has been around for a long time. I've talked about it in other videos. But what's new and what's kind of exciting is this concept of honeypot busting. There's a new honeypot buster, I'll throw the link in the comments, a honeypot buster tool which runs in PowerShell. And of course, a lot of the security tools are coming out in PowerShell these days, uh, from PoshSec to Empire. Uh, Honeypot Buster runs in PowerShell. It's made for the red team. It's made to detect several of the ways that uh, the blue team these days is creating honeypots and is creating honey tokens. So it looks like for Kerberos tickets, it looks for um, spoof things in the credential manager. It looks for uh, DNS records that are maybe indicative of uh, of uh, honeypots and it's got I think seven or eight different checks so you invoke it in PowerShell you run it and then it says Brrr. this is probably a honeypot don't touch it fantastic tool for the red team to know what's going on and of course that means for the blue team we want to detect this we want to, I'm sorry we want to pull this down we want to run it now and see if our ways of uh, putting these detective and deceptive controls in place this is going to be caught by the honeypot buster Take a look if you have some time. Have some fun with it. Let me know what you think. Hit me up in comments or on social media. Cheers.